and you know palantir was this you know by himself here on a, on its lonesome and now palantir is like actually putting together everything hey how's everybody doing it's the follow-up video on black sky and astrocast there was uh in my black sky video i did talk about how uh in the gotham use case video uh in south china sea it looked like they were using uh black sky and uh you know the timing couldn't have been even better uh it's uh you know the next day palantir put out a video called uh meta consolation how they're offering a new service line called meta consolation where they can give a user access to uh satellite imagery and analytics anywhere around the world within a second and they do this by working with multiple suppliers so black sky and other suppliers uh that they they're involved with to be able to offer this service so i just want to quickly do this video uh share this video with you and uh, you know allow you to see this synergy that uh, palantir is uh, is bringing forth by investing in black sky by investing in astrocast by having these relationships with these big firms like airbus who, who who's also involved in satellite imagery this is great news it's a new uh, service offering and i really think there is a, a real need for this and a lot of government organizations instead of working with one supplier specifically like black sky or airbus they're gonna go straight to palantir who can put all of this data together and offer a holistic service in a, a quick fashion so uh let's uh take a look at this video and uh, you know i'll wrap it up uh, real quick palantir's meta constellation software harnesses the power of growing satellite constellations, deploying AI into space to provide insights to decision makers here on Earth. Our meta constellation integrates with existing satellites, optimizing hundreds of orbital sensors and AI models, and allowing users to ask time-sensitive questions across the entire planet. Important questions like- Across the entire planet. Uh, like a specific region because black sky only has i think 12 satellites up right now but this is like across the planet oh, that's incredible where are there indicators of wildfires or how are climate changes affecting crop productivity and when and where are naval fleets conducting operations meta constellation pushes palantir's edge ai technology to a new frontier as we all know, submarines present threats to the U.S. and its allies. And to protect strategic interests, allied forces need to track every submarine's deployment around the world. And at the forefront of this challenge are anti-submarine warfare officers. They turn... Uh, quick pause. When they say they need to track every submarine around the world, this shows that it is active monitoring at all times so that means they already have a service agreement to do this at all times to track naval uh equipment across the world this is huge this is the underlying information that i'm getting from this video uh so i'm excited to learn more about these potential contracts as uh, you know we move through the quarter to meta constellation to monitor ports across the pacific let me show you a little bit about what that looks like. In response to allied monitoring requests, Meta Constellation dynamically determines which orbiting sensors are available. Integrated through Palantir, the constellations then collaboratively schedule coverage over each port. See, the different firms are listed here. So, uh, just saw Statologic. Meanwhile, Apollo Black Sky Apollo for Edge AI assigns tailored AI micromodels to each satellite. Running on board the satellite, the models will automatically find submarines and stream those. There's so much information here. Like they also said that the Edge AI solution that they've been working on are actually being deployed 
onto the satellites themselves so that the satellites are learning on their own how to detect uh, submarines in the water as opposed to that data being delivered to a headquarters or to a control room. And then the analysts are programming that and then refeeding that back to the uh, satellite. In this case, the satellite is doing it on its own with its experience on the field. So uh, a lot, lot of exciting things here that you know we need to <laughs> you need to listen to, but it is incredible. As insights directly to users. With the mission planned, Apollo automatically reconfigures each of the satellites, pushing the right micro models into orbit. And as a software payload on board, Palantir's Edge AI platform connects complex satellite subsystems to models, integrating new AI with the hardware. The best part, my favorite part, is that as it orbits, the Edge AI platform hot swaps the right micro models in, rapidly reconfiguring the satellite. The models process imagery, they detect submarines, geolocate them, and then determine any movement since the last collection passed, all in under a second. When the AI sees a submarine movement, that insight is directly downlinked to allied forces as the satellite passes overhead, and the anti-submarine warfare officers are notified in just minutes, empowering them to respond in a way that we've never seen before. As you can tell, we're really excited about Palantir's Meta Constellation and see it as the software that brings hundreds of satellites to bear on your hardest problems. Whether it's the anti-submarine warfare officer that I just described using it to find submarines or first responders leveraging AI to spot wildfire signs. Meta Constellation is there to empower users. I mean, this is, this is uh, great. Uh, it adds to, you know, the points that I've talked about in the Black Sky video, the industries that this can be offered to, uh, you know, utilities, uh, you know, global monitoring for environment purposes, um, insurance, construction for massive projects. Uh, th this is, uh, there's, there's so much uh, being offered here that, uh, you know, that none of these companies can do. Like if we open up the, the Black Sky presentation, like here, Black Sky was, you know, uh, mentioning that they are going to be a vertically integrated platform. And I was like, oh, you know, that's cool. Black Sky is doing that. And, you know, any of these bigger firms like Airbus uh, could do it themselves or as decentralized in one of my uh, in the comments mentioned, you know, even Airbus can buy out Black Sky if they wanted uh, to become a fully vertical uh, integrated supplier in this uh, market. And, you know, Palantir was just, you know, by himself here on, a, on its lonesome. And now Palantir is like, actually putting together everything. Like they, in the video, you saw that they had already, they had access already to Satellogic, the Hawkeye. Um, we also saw uh, Black Sky. Um, and, you know, I'm sure they have Airbus in it, too. So this is just amazing how Palantir is not just a vertically integrated platform for just Black Sky. They're a vertically integrated platform for all these firms or most of these firms. So, you know, the, the, the sky is the limit for Palantir. Uh, all this to say, I am not, you know, a big fan of uh, following day-to-day -day price action to make my decisions. I'm a fan of following fundamentals and news to see if they're doing something that I don't like. And if I don't like it or I start to feel uncomfortable, then I might start to trim my position. But right now, all of this just gets me so excited. And, uh, you know, I'm actually excited to continue the series of the win or L on Palantir's uh, SPAC investments. Uh, I s finished off with Black Sky, but I still have Lilium, Royvent, Sarcos Robotics. I've actually done them. The research is there, but obviously it's uh, 1240 AM. Uh, it's well past my uh, you know bedtime, but today I had a long day at work. So I worked till like uh, 10, 11. 
and uh after walking the dog i just jumped right back and uh, i just wanted to spare this video because the timing couldn't have been uh, more perfect so another big news that i want to share is that i was uh i expressed interest that and i wanted to share my content on a palantir discord that i've been following for the longest time uh so i want to give a shout out to uh the palantir discord that uh that allowed me to start sharing my content it's uh, called palantir technologies i'm gonna put the invite link to this discord in the di uh, video description uh and you know you can stay up to date you can see the videos that i'm putting out uh right right in the palantir content creators if you want to chat you know shoot me a message i'm going to be there and i'll make sure to get back to you or shoot a message to me through the comments on my video uh, I will definitely uh, get back to you because all of your support, uh, you know, your subscriptions, the likes, the comments, I see it all. Uh, you know, I started this video, this channel with zero uh, promotion. I went from like zero subscribers to like 22 subscribers, which is amazing because I really thought no one would care about what I have to say. But it's pretty cool that what I'm doing is resonating with some of you. So I really appreciate the, the support and uh, I'll see you on the next uh, the next video.